I fucking hate Android phones, messages always get sent so late. Anyways, let's see what Sayori texted me last night. That's strange. She texted saying you are alright, fricks. Don't come to school tomorrow. What the hell does she mean by that? Oh well. I guess I will ask her during club time. Today is going to be a bit crowded after school since there is an event going on. Holy fuck. It's already 8.30 a.m. I am 20 minutes late for school. Fricks, you are 45 minutes late. Do you have anything to say for yourself? No. Honestly, the brake bell is about to ring. You can really go right back home or just stay here for the rest of the day? I don't even care at this point. I guess I will just go sit down. I'm already here. Okay, that is the bell. You have 8 minutes for a break. Please be back before the next bell. Hello ladies, we are back. Welcome back, Frix and Carson. I am so relieved you two came. That's what she said! <laughs> that is getting fucking old dude, stop it. I am going to the bathroom. What took you two so long? We all need to prepare for the festival. Dummy. Oh, Monica didn't tell Yell. Frix's little girlfriend Sari wasn't here, so we went looking for her. I'm pretty sure Sayori can look after herself. Oh I know, I was just a bit worried. Well I think I will leave the screen to save Frix's PC. Hey Sayori, I would ask you what took you so long. But I was 45 minutes late to school. Oh. I just had some last minute preparations for the festival, that's all. I kind of forgot to do them yesterday. Hey girls, I need to speak to Fricks alone for a minute if that is okay. Oh, okay. Oh Fricks, you big idiot. Didn't you receive my text message? You weren't supposed to be at school today. Sorry honey. I didn't know what you meant by that. You know. Oh Frix, it's too late now. Today's the day, I'm so sorry Frix. Hey, so I think it's time we start to share our poems now. Sari, did you bring your poem? Because the file you sent me seemed to be the wrong one. I had to throw all our flyers away in the trash. Please be careful next time. So anyways, do you have your poem instead? Sure Monica. I would never forget to bring in my poem in on festival day. I don't want to disappoint. Just let me get the poem from out of my bag alright? Of course. But please hurry up. Hey Monica. Do you think there is something wrong with Sori today? She seems a bit off. Um. Well I see she is a bit emotionless today, but I think this is just her being her usual self. I'm sure it's nothing. What the fuck? The champ is here! Alright, this is my shit right here! The champ is here! This shit is crazy! The evil genius! Sorry to disturb you, Friggs, but I told you not to come today. I should have listened to you, just please don't kill me. Today is Judgment Day, this means life is worthless and existing is useless. I've told you how I felt about my life, about my depression. And your confession did not help at all, it only made the pain worse. I fucking hate you and the rest of this world. My whole life has just been shit and depressing. I was actually going to kill myself last night with this gun. But I thought to myself why not shoot up my own school. Sayori please, Monica was your best friend, she never did anything to you or anyone else. 
she was just trying to be nice, just like you were. Please stop doing this before more people get hurt. Oh, you really think she was nice? She made jokes about my depression, told me to kill myself since everyone would be happier. No, this can't be. Monica was nothing but the school whore, the cunt who always wanted to play hide the pickle whenever she felt like it. She was only popular because she was a whore, nothing else. What the hell? She was already dead. Stop it. What in the actual fuck is wrong with you Sayori? You should shoot Tori since she loves to cut herself, emos want to die right? Hey! That is totally untrue. I'm not even emo. Why don't you just grow up and stop annoying everyone else Natsuki? Guys, are you seriously arguing at a time like this? What the fuck is wrong with you? At least I have parents who love for me and care for me. Unlike the skeleton body motherfucker. Don't you dare talk about my dad like that. So what if he has problems with alcohol? He still loves me. I bet your bitch ass that your parents are the only ones who actually love you. You always sit alone in the fucking library during school breaks. You're yoni talking trash. Because your self-esteem is down so much. You look like a nine-year-old child. So I bet that is why you don't even have a boyfriend. Nobody wants to be a pedophile. Yuri you don't even have a boyfriend either. Fucking hypocrite. I should have just stayed in fucking bed today. Stop. Can you two please shut the fuck up for five minutes? Do you really want to argue like this in front of a school shooter? I fucking hate it when you two argue. It makes my goddamn blood boil. G <laughs> Wa 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 Sayori. Stop killing your friends. Sayori, you are fucking insane. You won't get an invite to my birthday party this year. Good luck, Fricks. Because I'm out of here. Gotta go fast. I'll get you bitch. Now it's just us again Fricks. Just like the old times when we were kids ha ha. Now I'm going to kill you since you didn't listen to my warning. Come on Sayori. Not only have we been friends since we were in second grade. But you're also my girlfriend. Please. You can't do this. I'm afraid I can Fricks. Any last words Fricks? Hey there Sexori. Will you marry me? No you fucking arsehole dipshit. Eat this instead. Yeah, I have some last words. I love you still. Really even after all this? I don't even know how to feel now. Nah lol. Your mom gay. Get wrecked. Fricks, please stay here. Shit, that was a close one. Police help. She is the school shooter. Well your girlfriend might be gone, but at least you still have her rule 34 tag. What the fuck?